As the athletes arrive for the Winter Olympics, COVID cases in Beijing are rising. Opening ceremony now just three days away. Organizers say they confirmed nearly 50 new infections over the weekend among athletes and team officials. The majority of the cases detected at the airport. But some people tested positive inside the closed loop, as they're calling it, where they're separated from the rest of society. The athletes facing some of the strictest COVID measures in all the world. China has committed to eliminating COVID within its borders. But now, some people who live there are saying their patience is wearing thin. The lockdowns, the mandatory testing, the constant surveillance taking a toll. CNBC's Yunus Yun in Beijing with an inside look at what it's like living under China's COVID zero policy. For Lunar New Year, this video has gone viral with rare criticism of Chinese authorities. A grandfather vents frustration over a last-minute decision to tighten controls for his city, forcing his grandchildren who just showed up at the train station for the holidays to turn back. Just as most of the world is weary living with COVID, Chinese are worn out living with Beijing's policy of zero COVID. Lines for COVID tests mandated by local authorities now the norm. First, we have to stand in this line to register. Then we're going to go to another window to pick up the kit before heading to a third window for the test. The whole process will take us about one and a half hours today. Not only testing, but constant tracking is taxing too. Most places, even cabs, require you register your ID and contact info through a health code on your mobile phone to get in. Drugstores share your personal purchases of any medication for fever, cough, sore throat or infection with the authorities. If you buy those meds, you receive this government alert, so your health code won't work until you go for another COVID test. Sudden lockdowns of buildings and late-night visits by authorities rounding up residents for COVID tests are becoming common, too. Property staff are being instructed by local authorities to knock on people's doors or to put up notices to make sure people get tested. This household has already been told to get tested twice in three days. Online, people complain about children who test positive being taken to COVID hospitals without their parents. Chinese authorities argue tough measures are necessary for a country with 1.4 billion people. But with COVID still a threat, the controls in China look to remain a fact of life. And the leadership has been showing signs of concern about the grumbling. The top health authority set up a public messaging board so that people could complain about their local officials, who they say have been blocking them from going home for this Lunar New Year holiday. Shep? Eunice Yoon, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.